Two at five, a candidate for the Kansas House from Kent Johnson County is accused of lying to get on the ballot. Adam Thomas is charged with election perjury, and his spot on the ballot is now in question. KCTV5's Kelly Taylor is live with more on this story. Kelly? So Adam Thomas was arrested this morning and literally just walked out of the, the uh, Johnson County Detention Center here seconds ago. But he was here on a felony charge. Now, Thomas is a Republican running for the 26th District House seat against Democratic candidate Deanne Mitchell. He's now charged with election perjury. The charge alleges Thomas knowingly turned in a falsified document to state election officials. We spoke with his challenger, Deanne Mitchell's attorney, who called for the investigation into Thomas. He says they have have proof Thomas did not live at the address he used on May 31st when he filed for office and registered to vote. That address was actually a campaign contributor's and he didn't live in the district until he moved into a new home on July 5th. Deanne Mitchell's attorney says my reaction to today's arrest of Adam Thomas is to commend Mr. Howe, the Republican Johnson County District Attorney, for rising above the partisan politics to which we've become so accustomed. And the GOG Johnson County GOP chair says there is nothing more. This is nothing more than a political power play. Adam was in the process of buying a home, so he filed in a district where he was purchasing that home. Uh, you know, in my opinion, this is just, it's politics at its worst. Uh, and this is just an opportunity by the left to try and deny uh, the people the opportunity to vote for who they may want to choose. Now, along with those on the witness list, the United States Post Office, the Secretary of State's office, and Yahoo, and there's a hearing scheduled on Monday where evidence about Thomas's living situation is expected to be presented. Live in Johnson County, Kelly Taylor, KCTV 5 News.